we had a uh, we had a very nice home in Los Alamos, Mexico, and it's seventy two hundred feet altitude. So we used to get heavy snows, and so we buried our our jacuzzi deep in the ground uh, with heavy insulation, so that we could sit in the in the jacuzzi while it snowed on our head. Which is which is and, such a great experience being in a jacuzzi yeah. with snow. You got snow piling up on your head, <laughs> and you're just as warm as toast in this jacuzzi. And so uh, we had a little Shih Tzu puppy or dog that adored Linda, as all animals do. And uh, he would not leave uh, Linda's side. Uh, well, we're sitting in the, uh, we're sitting in the tub, and uh, our three boys and Linda and I came out, and all of a sudden, the dog left Linda and went inside the house. And that was just not, uh, he was obviously scared. And so I sat down in the tub, and, they, and the boy started telling me, "Dad, we saw this really weird thing." And I and I I have a I have a mean streak, I guess, especially when it came to our boys. I just needled it. And, oh yeah, sure, you really saw something. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I know. And they got some discussion with me. They were threatening to leave, and they got up, and I, oh no, 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 don't leave. And so I was. I had my back to the house at first, but when I got up to keep them in the tub, I ended up with my my facing the house and the and the and the peak of the roof, and and I started going into the end. Yeah, guys, you didn't see anything, and I saw this thing come up over the roof of the house, and that's all I can say it was. It was shaped like a a stingray, like a stingray, and it, a stingray had that shape to it. Uh, and it, it even appeared to have a ridge down the middle of it, uh, and had circular glowing areas underneath it made no noise whatsoever. Uh, it's movement almost seemed as though it was alive. Um, <laughs> and it slowly went overhead. It must've been very large and fairly far away because it was appearing to be slow, went out over the Canyon and then went up and disappeared. Um, and I have to admit, I have no idea what that could have been. Now, having said that, the United States does. Uh, Los Alamos is a, is a no-flight zone. But every now and then, they'll bring an experimental craft to Los Alamos and ask the laboratory to put all sorts of sensors out and see if they can sense this thing in some way, uh, especially when they're developing the, the stealth aircraft. We saw the stealth aircraft there. This was not a stealth aircraft. Mm. Uh, we've seen those. We saw those being tested over Los Alamos. Um, this wasn't that. It was reliably a UAP or a UFO. Uh, what it was, I don't know. It's inter interesting that you said it almost looked like it was alive. Right. Yeah. It. You know. It was kind of um, undulating, flexing, and um, yeah, I like it. He's flexing. Wow. Not not flapping wings or no. Kind of slowly flexing, and um, those the round glowing areas uh, were kind of indistinct. They were obviously circles of something, mm -hmm. uh, and they were spaced around the, the underside of the craft. And it was a craft, I believe. I have no idea where it came from, what it was, whether it was experimental in some way. If it was, its propulsion system wasn't what we normally expect. No, 